in case of a normal delivery you might be released right the next day but if you're having a c section they'll keep you at the hospital for 3 days and trust me that's going to be the most golden period of your life because every little bunny is going to come and ask you ma'am do you need juice do you need medicines do you need this the real game actually starts when you get to go home with the baby and now it's all you and the baby and you need to take care of your baby right The real struggle has not even started by now. It starts when you actually get to go home with Frankenstein like stitches on your vagina or your tummy, immense pain, milk flying out of your breast, difficulty in you know peeing, pooping. Oh my god. I can't even start imagining. And all of this while you are actually in a diaper yourself. Wow. I mean it's like the wild wild west. Does the bum go down immediately after the child is born? We all know that your weight becomes a major concern before and after delivery and throughout your pregnancy period. But the real answer is no. It went down, but not fully. It was still like a bump. The bump does not immediately go down. Even after you deliver, you might still look three to four months or even six months pregnant. Don't worry, it will go down, but not right immediately. Okay, it is a gradual process, and uh, these are different for every woman. What does sex feel like after giving birth for the first time? Who has sex? Why would you have sex after something like that? So the doctor generally asks you to wait for six weeks, so that there's quite some time given to your body to heal. But right now, you're not actually concerned about your sex life. You're more concerned about the baby than your own sex life. right if i'm not wrong but the stitches in your vagina might freak you out a little but then it's okay okay nothing's gonna happen there sister so don't worry your vagina might feel a bit bigger or tighter but then that's all it's gonna feel like the way it was just so stressed out that i wouldn't say it's relaxing and mostly there's a little baby not too far from you so i'm it's not all that romantic maybe the romanticism that was there it might not be there that type because now you have a baby to take care of but then it's all going to be fine did you actually know that women suffer from something called postpartum depression right after giving birth and after having their own child because at times they really cannot associate with the motherly feeling right away so as your body goes through so much a lot of women start developing postpartum depression it might make you feel like you're inside a body which is not yours and it doesn't belong to you Also it might be difficult for you to associate and develop motherly feelings for the human you just created right after giving birth. So motherly feelings at times might take some time to come and that's completely okay and normal. Apne pasand ke kapde nahi pehen sakte kyunki kuch fit nahi hota. Apna favorite khana nahi kha sakte kyunki allowed nahi hai. Depression mood swings sab kuch chup chap sehna padta hai taki baki sab ka mood kharab na ho. So before going ahead and congratulating the new mama Ask her if she feels okay about being the new mama. Just talk to her. I think that will make her life easier and a bit better. What keeps us away from talking about what really happens during and after childbirth? Because we are so open about talking when it comes to pregnancy. Also, if women are informed and have prior knowledge about these things, then it's always easier for them to handle the whole childbirth process. and actually decide whether they want to become mothers or not so next time when you're having a baby make sure you watch this video well congratulations you're having a baby but then this is our new baby too so don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you really like watching our videos don't forget to hit the bell icon subscribe to the youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us